Hi, my name is Dr. Thomas Rocco and I am a physician who is trying to promote proper CBD use. We're going to start today first by how CBD is being described and it can be very confusing. There's three ways from the hemp plant that things, the products can be um, kind of described and it's either hemp seed oil, it's either hemp extract oil, and it's CBD oil. And um, all of these products are made from the hemp plant. However, it, they all mean different things. Uh, for instance, hemp seed oil sounds like CBD is in it, and it is from the hemp plant. However, it's the seed that's pressed like olive oil and you get really good oil from the seeds of the plant. However, CBD doesn't come from the seeds, it comes from the plant resin uh, and the plant itself. Hemp seed oil is really good product for um, skin products, it's really good for um, cooking products. It has omega fats in it, it has vitamin E in it and it is a good product. However, if you buy a product with hemp seed oil, there really is no CBD in it. And that's what you want for your medicinal effect. CBD helps boost your immune system. It helps with um, the modulation of the endocannabinoid system, which is both the neuro, neuro uh, it's the neural tissue that we uh, use for um, inflammation, the brain and the periphery, and it also it helps with modulating the immune system and it helps decrease the inflammation and that's how it helps with pain, anxiety, wellness, and with sleep. Um, so it's important to know when you're using a product um, that CBD is described properly. Um, it is, it, it's an issue because it's not regulated in um, this country. Uh, the FDA does look at companies and every year they they do a it's usually at the end of the year and they've done it since 2015 they look at companies and are they describing it for the right reasons are they using it uh, is, is the concentration proper and every year there's a list of companies that are kind of warned um, but it's again it's difficult to know what's in the CBD so there's hemp seed oil again has no CBD in it it has vitamin e and omega fats but CBD tends to be described as either CBD oil or hemp extract oil. Hemp extract oil really is the amount of plant that's used um, to make the CBD oil. I really believe the CBD oil um, milligram should be what we all use for all companies because it's the end product no matter what. Um, hemp extract is the amount of plant and some companies use more hemp extract than others so it's not the same ratio. Um, I'm going to give you a for instance um, this company which I love has these two types of medications this is called Rick's Mix it says 1500 this says Echo Drops Relief now on this it says 9000 and that's what it's describing the hemp extract or the amount of flour that's being used to make this product. They're the same size, 30 milliliters. They both have the same amount of CBD in it, 1500 milligrams, but this says the number. This one says the hemp extract, so it can be very confusing. So talking to patients, that is really one of the most important things that needs to be done is to understand what type of medication you're getting and what the dose is. Um, I'm going to show you the the type of boxes they come in and this one is a great one because it says 1500 milligrams or 1500 that's how many milligrams and it does say the hemp extract 9000 and it both of these numbers on it so you understand what you're taking. The, um, the other box from the same company you would think they would do the same thing but they didn't. 
and it just says 9,000 milligrams of hemp extract. So it can be very confusing. Both of these products, again, at 1,500 milligrams, both of them, every drop has 2.5 milligrams, every drop. Um, so it's easy for me to help patients understand how to use it. Um, again, for anxiety, you want 15 to 20 milligrams of CBD milligram oil. And for pain, it usually is 30 to 50 milligrams, depending on the severity of your symptoms and your size and the weight. Um, and sleep is usually 50, and it can be up to 150 milligrams of CBD oil milligrams. So it's important to know that this is not hemp extract. This is CBD milligram oil. Um, and that can be very confusing. With all of the products that we help people with and offer, we always give them not only um, information about dosing for different types of medical illnesses, but we also do a, a um, type of um, instruction sheet so it's very, very clear on how to start it because you want to start at a low dose and move your way up as you need it. Um, so again, I'm going to go over uh, the same kind of issue with tablets and capsules. Same thing with two, this, two great companies. Um, these are ones that are very easy to understand. It says 10 on it, so it's 10 milligrams of hemp oil. This is 10 milligrams of CBD oil. And this one, again, is a stronger one. It's called Strong, but it's 50 milligrams. Very simple to understand. And again, these are great doses. 50 milligrams is great for somebody with pain um, that's severe, somebody that's um, very heavy and needs, needs a higher dose. I use the 10 milligrams to make additional to the 30 milligrams. Um, one of the medications I probably use the most with my patients is this one. Now this is 30 milligrams to 35 milligrams. It doesn't say that on this at all. It doesn't say 30, 35 anywhere. I just know this because we get the lab results with all of our products so there's no confusion. But what this does say on the back of it, it's hard to read it, you probably can't see it, but it says 170 milligrams of hemp extract. That's how much the flour is being used, but it's not how much of the CBD milligram oil. So this is a really good medication for the person between 150, 200 pounds, kind of moderate to severe pain to start off with. And you, they look at it and I've had so many people, even after describing to them, they call me, this seems like it's more than it is. It says 170, but that's how much of the plant that's used to make uh, the CBD oil. So this is really 30 to 35 milligrams. So it's nice that we have, really, I don't have a lot of products, but products that work well. So we have a 10, a 30, and a 50 milligram capsule. And we start at the lowest dose, and then we then work our way up if we have to. Sometimes the lowest dose is what you need. But it's really important to know what dose to start and then where to go from. Um, a lot of patients that come to me and look at um, some of the medications they've used, and it happens a lot. They look at the hemp extract and they have a bottle that says about, you know, it says 1,500 milligrams of whatever it might be, but it's really hemp extract, but there's really only 250 milligrams of actually CBD oil. So they're starting at such a low dose, it's really doing nothing. Um, so it's really, uh, really, uh, difficult for patients to understand how to do this when they're buying it for somebody who's not educating them, giving, not giving them any instructions, not doing the proper dosing so they know where to start. Um, I find that when we go over everything, specifically why it works, what dose to start for that patient, why they're using it, and then go with the CBD milligram oil dose, we then usually start at a nice slow, low dose and then sometimes you have to increase it, but they usually get a good beneficial effect. Um, there's no sense in taking more than you have to. You just use as you need it, and then you increase it. So these are really important points, and this is a first point usually I talk to patients about, is just about dose, um, and people that have used it before um, really have problems understanding how to initially do it. 
rather than saying just take a dropper, just take a capsule. Well, you want to, it's, it's, it's a medicine. You want to treat it like a medicine if you want to have the best potential benefit for this to help. Um, we look at um, all of these things when we talk to patients about how to use it. But this is really what's really important to first start with, to know that hemp seed oil is really a good medicine if you want omega fat medicine in your um, in your uh, purchase, in your product, and it has vitamin E in it. And it's really good for skin products, it's really good for cooking in. And then you have the different ways of describing it, which is um, hemp extract oil, which is what the plant is used to make actually that product, and CBD oil milligrams, which I think is the way we should all talk about it and describe it because that's usually the end point of all of our products is how much CBD milligram oils in it. We go from, again, we go from the CBD milligram oils um, as the dosing and then we work our way up. Um, again, for anxiety, you should use 15 to 20 milligrams to start. Um, I like tinctures the best for anxiety attacks and then when you think you need a second dose, you usually wait 15 minutes to do a second dose. For pain, acute pain, I like usually to start in a normal adult about 30 milligrams, 25 to 30 milligrams. Again, if you use a tincture, it's acute pain, you wait 15 minutes, you can then repeat that as well. Uh, for sleep, you definitely need a higher dose and sometimes you need a very high dose. Um, 50 milligrams is a good starting dose for a normal adult size between about 150, 225 pounds. A lot of times people need a higher dose um, to about 150, you know, to start at 50, but you might need 150 milligrams. It's something that uh, you just, you find that um, it takes a little more extra medication to really get that sleep effect. Um, if you need it for something to get to sleep, I use a tincture. If you need it more for somebody to kind of stay asleep, I tell patients take a capsule. It may take a little longer to work, but it's going to last longer in your body. So please um, call us at any time or DM us through Instagram or Facebook. It's back to basics, um, LLC.com, B A K number two basicsllc.com. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, we're here to help, here for you to understand how to use it properly. It can be very confusing, um, but when you use it properly, the chance of a better potential benefit usually happens. Please call us at 401-678-6420. Our website is www.backbak2basicsllc.com. You can also internet search as back BAK number two basic CBD. It usually uh, is on the internet search. Uh, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook and uh, Twitter. So please call us with any questions. Um, that's what we're here to do. First start it with a good educated information. We give instructions with every single product we give more information about learning about proper dosing. Uh, we talk about how a tincture works different than a capsule. Um, we talk about um, different ways of using it for different medical illnesses. Again, the, the things that I find that it works the best is usually pain. Um, it works for anxiety. It works for sleep. Um, it definitely helps for just general wellness. Um, it helps with neuropathy, um, and there's different ways of taking it for, with, uh, for different illnesses. We'll go into that in another uh, live chat. So uh, thank you for listening. Um, keep in contact. Again, 401-678-6420 for any calls, and um, look us up on the, uh, on the web. Again, the best way is just search BAK number two basics CBD usually pops up, Dr. Thomas Rocco. My name's on the website, and you can contact us for any questions. See us on Facebook and Instagram, too. Thank you for the time.